So Christmas is in the air and now it's time to get it into our hearts, our minds and onto our sketchbooks. So hey guys, welcome to uh, this Christmas themed special video where I'm going to be creating a spread based off well, all things Christmassy and things that make you all happy and giddy and just putting you into the Christmas mood. And so I actually did my nails this time and I'm super like happy with how it turned out. I made it all Christmas themed and stuff just for this video and for myself. And of course, just to get into the mood of Christmas. Now, talking about getting into the mood, make sure to take out your sketchbook and maybe a cup of coffee and draw along with me. So first off, we're going to start off with this character that's like super excited and has that kind of like a pose. And you know, I'm also showing you my sketching process, which I haven't done in like a long time. Usually I just like sketch stuff, outline it and show it, but this is actually me sketching it. And this is a girl who's totally in the Christmas mood. She's living it, maybe she's feeling it and she's like all happy. Her hands are in the air and everything. And then next I'm drawing like two marshmallows in hot cocoa in a cup and um, some gingerbread and some other silhouettes which we'll get to. So I was just googling some random, you know, Pinterest and Pinterest like photos and inspo and stuff and I thought, you know, let's get started with the coloring of the outfit of the girl. At first I was like, let's go something light, maybe gold, rose gold, but then I'm like, no, let's just, you know, do something more like festive with a more of a like a green and a red color palette. And so I went in with my lavender Ohuhu alcohol marker and like, you know, just did those shadows and then decided to jump right into drawing. So I wanted her top to be like this green sort of maybe teal but like turquoise but Christmassy green color. I took this turquoise and like made it sort of like the highlights and then and then went ahead with my yellow marker and added some lighting on the right hand side because you know Christmas is just warm it's like you know reminds you of sitting by the fireside and all of that so just you know add some warm lighting and I went in and colored her top turquoise so this is how it turned out I just like how it's you know a bit has a, like a 3d element to it and then next up I was gonna do her skirt so you know I was thinking maybe something a bit more red but then obviously if I make it completely red it's gonna be you know just kind of in your face it's gonna be like too vibrant in like a bad way that gives you a migraine so i decided to go with like this gray color and then make a plaid pattern with like the red color so that it's like not you know competing with the green for attention you know complementary colors basically so yeah and that's what i did i you know i was kind of a bit like scared about like messing up the outlines because you know there are lines and the way you draw the lines on the skirt can change everything no matter the way you draw the outline and um the shape of the skirt if you like draw the lines in a particular way it can make things more curvy or more straight or more 2d or more 3d so i had to be a bit careful with that and I kind of managed to make it look decent, kind of go along the, you know, curves and the lines. So a tip for you, if you're coloring in like, you know, any kind of curved surface and it has lines on it, make sure your lines are not just straight and actually curved the way I'm doing it. Otherwise, it's just going to look flat. You, just, you know, your movement or the curves in your skirt or whatever is not going to show up. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So after I colored in the outfit, I went in to color her skin. So of course, again, I add the shadows and all of the like mark where the highlights and the shadows are first, whether it's in the hair or in the neck or in the face. And then I go ahead with a skin tone color and just go over it. So this way, like it's really easy to get like depth in the face or whatever, wherever, like quite easily because you're just you know doing the shadows and then going on top with it. And then you just basically do like two coats of color and then you get something that looks kind of realistic or somewhat 3d so that's something you could do you know and you could keep that in mind and then i went in and added her blush and kind of blended it out and also started to color her hair in so at first i was kind of like a bit confused about her hair i was like should i do it like a very dark walnut brown or like a terracotta color and then i went with the terracotta because you know the skirt and her outfit was already pretty dark so i didn't want her hair again to be kind of really dark so i made it like this nice warm orangey kind of brown terracotta to be precise and also there's this method that i use called the sandwich method i think some other artists use it i'm not sure if like that's my original term i think i've heard it somewhere else basically what i do is 
if I'm putting a color for the hair and like she's wearing boots or like holding a bag I make the boots or the bag the same color so that it kind of looks cohesive so that's what I did here I colored in her hair with this terracotta brown and I even colored her boots in the same color so it's like very easy for you to choose colors as well as it kind of looks nice you know it's not like just so jarring and like having all these different colors in different places then I colored in this cute little gingerbread man and then I drew this little mug which has two marshmallows just chilling there and they're having fun and actually this cup is inspired by or I should say just like straight up a copy of a cup that my dad you know got for Christmas like he just came home one one night and like brought these two cups and I was like so overjoyed to see them because they're just so cute it has like this nice typography on it and like this illustration on it which is so cute and it's big enough to have like you know hot cocoa in it and like dunk in how many ever like marshmallows you want so I, I uh, you know it was really exciting for me to see that I really like jumped up like a kid I mean <laughs> it's not wrong to get excited at those things and so I just needed to draw that too because you know it reminds me of Christmas it makes me feel like it so I drew that and this is a sneak peek at our Christmas tree that me and my family just put up and light it up I mean comment down below whether you have put up your Christmas tree yet so after I finished the cup and the girl, there was more space left obviously, so I needed to fill that up. But I didn't want anything too distracting, so I tried to do a bouquet effect. So if you don't know what that means, it's basically that thing in photography where like you have these lights, but they're like blurred out as circles and it looks really nice, it really looks aesthetic. So I was trying to do that here and I think it turned out decent, like it gives you the idea that it's like a bouquet effect. What I did is basically I went in with some colors and uh, then I dipped my brush in the water and then kind of lifted up color after you know just kind of wiping it on the tissue that's how you kind of lift color with watercolor and it should work especially if you're using good quality watercolors just decent quality I'm not like using like professional or anything it's the Sakura Koi watercolors 36 colors but you know I had done this when I was younger and I was using much cheaper like kindergarten watercolors and it does not really work like the pit pigment gets like stuck to your paper so um yeah and then I wanted to add like some backgrounds and then kind of you know draw the Christmas tree in like in the bouquet effect and then draw a girl kind of like just putting some decorations on, on it and of course just like a silhouette kind of like the silhouette paintings you know with the night sky and like something in black kind of like that and I think it turned out pretty cute like it's not too distracting because it's like just another like form of art that I guess I really wanted to do and I did it and then I felt like you know the first character that I drew was like just closing her eyes and smiling I felt like I needed to draw a face so I went ahead and did that too and again I made it like it's pencil I didn't like add color because then if I did it would like distract the viewer from like the main drawing so I did that and now finally we're like just writing some codes that really puts you in the Christmas spirit from the Polar Express by Santa Claus, it says, Just remember that the spirit of Christmas lies in your heart. So I want you guys to remember that and take a look at this final, like, reveal. Because, you know, I added some washi tape, I signed off, my name is Rose BJ, and this is how the spread turned out. We have, like, some cute marshmallows just hugging each other in, like, their hot cocoa, and this happy little character just living and just having the time of her life during Christmas, and this cup that says the tree isn't the only thing that's lit this year, and this girl, like, decorating Christmas tree and a little gingerbread, and I'm just kind of really happy with the way this turned out, so you could take away some tips from this and also i hope this puts you in the christmas spirit and like you know just again remember that it lies in your heart so i hope this video you know sparked that christmas spirit in your heart and and if you like this video make sure to gift me a little thumbs up and a like down below and comment down what you really like about this spread uh, what's your favorite thing about christmas and share this video with your friends if you think it'll help them get into the christmas mood or just draw something christmassy I hope you go ahead and make a December to remember. With that, again, just remember the true spirit of Christmas lies in your heart. Thank you for watching. And also, I have other Christmas videos in this playlist if you want to see more of it. And some art tips if you're interested in that. Also, Happy New Year because I'll be seeing you again next year.